am Judith Weiss. I'm the author of this new book about crabs. The book is called Walking Sideways, and it's about all sorts of crabs. We are right now down at the shore in eastern Long Island and going to see what kind of crabs we might be able to collect here. We're here with Emily and Jessica Minor, our granddaughters, seeing what kind of crabs we can catch in the shallow water in this bay. One of the crabs we got is this. This is a small lady crab or calico crab. And you can tell by this flat last leg, this is a swimming paddle, that this is a type of crab called a swimming crab. Also gotten several of these. This is a hermit crab. And this is a crab that has a very soft rear end and it puts, it lives in a abandoned snail shell. Another kind of crab that we did not get in the Seine but is crawling around out in the air on the beach and in the marsh is the fiddler crab. And here we have a specimen of the sand fiddler crab. We're in a sandy environment here. This is a male. He has one very large claw which he waves around to attract females during the mating season. In an estuary like this, there are several other species that we could have gotten and uh, if we worked harder. There are spider crabs, there's a commercially important blue crab, and there are living green crabs. Um, those are the common East Coast shallow water estuary and crabs. In the book, I talk about crabs that live in all kinds of other habitats as well. There are crabs that live full time on land, in, in dry habitats and never go back to the water. There are crabs that live up in trees. Um, that crabs live in any kind of habitat imaginable, which is extremely um, impressive for an animal that started out as a marine animal. Uh, the wonderful diversity of crabs is something uh, that I stress in the book as well as commercial fishing for crabs and interactions of crabs and people. Uh, I find crabs really fascinating and hope that you will too.